Can you imagine buying Decentraland's Mana when it was first launched? The price was at 1.8 cents for Mana, M-A-N-A, -A, the metaverse token, which has rallied over 5,100% since that time of launch. If you had invested $100 at that time, you would now be holding $5,200 considering Mana's price currently at 78 cents. And you know why this happened? It's because Decentraland is a metaverse project, one of the crypto markets with the biggest potential for growth. And you can't lose sight of this sector. Again, metaverse, we are betting big on this particular scene. And it's all about timing, right? To get into a potential project early on, you just have to be attentive and identify them at the right moment. And that's what we're endeavoring to help you with, with our video publications and our website articles at Altcoin Buzz. And in this video, we're unveiling the top four metaverse projects that we feel have the best chances of success in October, 2021. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome. I am Maddie, and we are Altcoin Buzz, a crypto investing research company. And our goal unapologetically is to find the next Altcoin gem and to find it early. We spotted Quant when it was $8, Binance at $7, Engine at $0.04, cents, Matic at $0.03, cents, and of course, many, many more 100x projects. And guys, if you don't want to miss out on the next potential Altcoin moonshot, then be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Altcoin Buzz. Also hit the bell to receive notifications. That's like a little YouTube hack. It makes things easier because you're then alerted every time we publish new content. And before we get into those top four metaverse projects, just a reminder guys that any kind of investment incurs at least some degree of risk. Yes, with due diligence and research and extended research as we do, you can mitigate those risks to a certain extent, but nothing is assured in this world. And so as a reminder, this video is not financial or investment advice. All right, let's start with project number one, Acknowledger. We're on the website here, acknowledger.com. It's a project that aims to be the gateway to Web 3.0, Metaverse, and gaming NFTs. That's non-fungible tokens. Put simply, Acknowledger will help in interoperability across metaverses like Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Sandbox, and others. And the reasons why we love it are actually pretty simple. One of the main reasons is UCNS. This is how Acknowledger plans to achieve many of its goals. And it's kind of simple at the end of the day. It's gonna index every single digital asset throughout all the games, metaverses, and NFT marketplaces using UCNS. That's an acronym for Universal Content Numbering Scheme. The NFT collectors can then take the help of UCNS to move their NFTs across different metaverses. We're also big fans of their content distribution. This is another reason we find the project exciting because really it will enable everyone to sell digital assets like NFTs across metaverses and games. And it's gonna open up most likely a new avenue of 1000 times more users entering the gaming, NFTs, and metaverse space. Let's talk monetization. Every contributor on Acknowledger's platform, be it author, owner, reader, buyer, validators, or governance committee, will be duly rewarded with ACNO tokens. The AI-based plagiarism is gonna help to verify every piece of created content which is published on the platform. So this will help validators on the Acknowledger platform to know if the content is either original or plagiarized. They have a strong panel of advisors as well. It includes crypto veterans from projects like Polygon, Harmony, head of research of Cointelegraph and many more. The native token of Acno Ledger is ACK, that's A-C-K, and it can be used to subscribe or buy content on the platform. It can be used for staking, governance, for paying royalties, for subscriptions, and of course, for buying NFTs. So far from our perspective, it sounds like it has some potential and everyone can invest in Acno Ledger through a public sale or once it gets listed on the exchange, the user will get access to the tokens. According to its roadmap, the IDO will happen towards the end of 2021 and the exchange listings will be in quarter one of next year, 2022. Right now, the IDO launch date is not confirmed. However, you can stay tuned to their Telegram channel shown here where more details will be shared very soon, at least presumably. All right, for project number two, we're looking at Crucible Network. So Crucible is a platform that builds open metaverses using Web3 protocols and blockchain technology. 
Crucible is working as a self-sovereign technology. The platform has built a federated system called Blueprints for the Open Metaverse. And Crucible sees its business as part of the upcoming Direct to Avatar or D2A economy. And as a result, purchases aren't limited to one game or one gaming console. Instead, these items are bound to a persona or a profile if the platform wants to sell their digital assets. We think it's great because, well, for one, users are in control of their data. Crucible created a portable digital identity that gives back control of data to users. So gamers can move from one AAA game to another with the same avatar, wearing the same skin or even the same outfit if they so choose. It's also a judicious publishing platform. So Universal Feeds gives everyone their platform in a market network for publishing and commerce without bots, without trolls, and without abusers. There's also no coding required. You don't need to know how to code to build something in this particular metaverse. If you want to get involved, the project is currently in its beta version right now, and there is no IDO announcement just yet. But for now, to join the metaverse, you can fill out this form shown here to request access. Next on our list is X Populous. It's a project founded by experts from different fields, including PCs, mobile, VR, esports, crypto, and animated films who are now bringing around next generation games which will incorporate NFTs, play to earn, and other novel game mechanics. X Populous's vision is to become an entertainment brand that is recognized around the world for producing and publishing the highest quality games and entertainment. And it's already on its way as it recently funded LAMO, L-A-M-O, a 2019 PC game to build LAMO-verse. In fact, there's a lot you can do with X Populous. There's game placement, there's influencer engagement, public relations, NFT collections, building community, esports and tournaments, of course, as well as development studios and more. So as of right now, there is no token pre-sale, but you know, we expect details to be announced in the near future. So stay tuned. Next up and at number four, rounding out the list, we have Netverk. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. You can see the spelling here for yourself. Netverk is a VR sandbox where users can create their metaverse, meet people, earn money, and of course, much more. All you need is Netverk's VR tools. Netverk wants its users to use the platform to create their virtual space to invite people to socialize, play video games, and to work. The way the land is created, all locations in Netverk are unique. Moreover, users can also redesign or sculpt on top of their land. So you can drag and drop buildings onto the land from the marketplace. Everyone will be able to upload their assets to either sell or trade them inside apps. You can also test your personalized land by switching to immerse mode. Netverk has more than 50 long-standing investors in the crypto ecosystem. Among the best known are Polygon, Certic, Rubrik, and Elrond. And Netverk has already created a buzz in the market with Sleazy Sloth, which has bought 10,000 square meters of land. And Monster Clan has also joined the Netverk metaverse. Let's give you guys some statistics. Its virtual land also seems to be selling like hotcakes. Netverk's virtual lands were sold out in Ferrum, over 1 million US dollars, in Trustpad, also over a million US dollars, in Pools, it was over $600,000 in Chainboost, over a million, and Spore Network, also over $1 million. So how exactly do you get involved in this particular IDO? Well, in the month of September, the team conducted the IDO of its native token, Netverk, that's N-T-V-R-K, and it yielded an all-time high ROI of 1,800%. That's 1,800% which is decent enough considering the fact that September was not really such a good month for the market. The reason for the IDO doing particularly well was that Netverk's token can be used to buy assets within the virtual reality world you are in. Support can include buildings, vehicles, houses, along with many other categories as well. Another use can be buying advertising space, minting NFTs, and of course, staking. You can buy Netverk's token in Uniswap in case you feel it's got great potential as a project. That's certainly how we feel. So there you have it, guys. Four top metaverse projects that we have our eyes on for October 2021. Be sure to like this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Altcoin Buzz. And a reminder, hit the bell to receive notifications. That way you are alerted every time we publish new content. Check out these related videos, which should be popping up right about now. Best of luck if you do choose to invest members of the Altcoin Buzz army. 
stay safe. And as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.